Hi, here we are at the Lars Training Center. Anytime you're servicing a piece of equipment, it must be performed by a licensed contractor. Also, gas and electric must be shut off prior to servicing that equipment. Thank you. My name is Steve Marizzi. We're here at the Lars Training Center. We're going to talk about combustion setup on the Neotherm residential boiler. That ranges from 80,000 BTUs to 210,000 BTUs. Combustion setup needs to be done by a licensed contractor. Uh, tools that are required will be a combustion analyzer, a number 40's torque bit, and a number 4 millimeter Allen key. So first thing we're going to do with the power off, we're going to remove the lower cover door. Next, we want to make sure we have a call for heat and the boiler is running. So I'm going to power up the boiler. The display will synchronize. Now that it's synchronized, we're on the home screen. We will give the boiler a call for heat, and I wired in a small toggle switch. Here on the home screen, it'll tell you the state right now is currently pre-purge driving to light off. You will also see the hold 62, fan speed not approved. The reason the 62 hold is here is we're going into a pre-purge, and pre-purge is obviously clearing the chamber of any residual flue gases. Next, we'll drive to light off. We're going to go into a pre-ignition test. Direct burner ignition. And now the state is run. So our boiler is running. So now that it's running, okay, with our analyzer set up, we're going to insert the analyzer probe in the flute. We're going to force the boiler into high fire. Prior to doing that, we need to log in. To log in, we press the I button, the information button. That brings us to a sub-menu. Here, we're going to use the right-hand arrow to choose Login. We're going to press OK, and the login password is LNT, stands for Lars Neotherm. So I'm going to use my up arrow to choose the letter L. I'm going to press OK, and on the top left corner of the screen, the letter L will appear. Next, I want to go down and choose the letter N. Click OK, and now we have LN on the screen. Lastly, we want to go up and highlight the letter T. Press OK, and our password now is LNT. We must go down and highlight the OK button on the bottom of this screen. Once it's highlighted, we click OK, and our login is OK. Now, to do combustion setup, we want to go over to test. So I'm going to use my, my left hand arrow, and then my down arrow to test. Press OK, and force rate is highlighted for us. Press OK again, and it brings us into our force rate screen. From here, we have set high fire. It's highlighted, click OK, scroll down to start test, click OK again. Once we start test, our a test timer appears. It counts backwards for five minutes. So now we have five minutes to dial in our CO2. Depending on your analyzer, your analyzer could take up 90 seconds to actually start showing what your CO2 is. We are measuring CO2, and that's what we're looking for here. So this particular product, our CO2 range is 8.8% to 9.8% for natural gas, and that's what we have here. So, as you can see, our CO2 currently is reading 8.24. So an adjustment will need to be made. What we have here is a de demonstration of the gas valve, gas train, attached to the blower in Venturi. High fire adjustments are made right here on the Venturi. That is a number 4 millimeter Allen key. <clears throat> you would slide that in and make your adjustments. The low fire adjustment is under a aluminum cap. It's a number 40 aluminum cap. You would take the cap off, place your Allen, your adjustment number 40 torque 
bit in there and make your adjustments for your low fire adjustment. We need to make a high fire adjustment. So, I'm going to come down here, place my Allen key for the high fire adjustment on the, on the Venturi, and I'm going to make an adjustment. Again, your analyzer could take 30 to 90 seconds to adjust. This is natural gas, so I'm looking for roughly 9% CO2 on high fire. Okay, so right now we're roughly right around 9% CO2. Okay. And next, what we want to do is go back into the setup screen. Use this camera now. And we're going to choose set low fire by pressing the up arrow, click OK. First of all, I want to stop test. So you're going to highlight stop test, now go up and select set low fire, press OK, now start test again. <clears throat> You'll see our RPM value here. The firing rate is now looking for 1500 RPMs. The fan speed is actually modulating down. We have four minutes and 46 seconds left for low fire. So right now we've actually we have this in low fire, and our low fire CO2 is 8.85 percent. In the book, it'll explain that your low fire adjustment wants to be a half a percent less. So where we had high fire set at 9 percent CO2. Our low fire wants to be at 8.5% CO2. So, I'm going to make an adjustment on the low fire adjustment screw. That's utilizing a number 40's torque bit on the gas valve. Put your torque bit in the gas valve and make a slight adjustment. In this case, I'm going to go counterclockwise to make the adjustment. Now I'm going to wait for my analyzer to balance out. Again, that could take up to 90 seconds. Alright. Okay, so 8.52% is close enough to our 8.5. So now our low fire CO2 is adjusted. If we look up here, we have approximately 20 seconds left on the test timer. So we can click press stop test, it's already highlighted for us, alright, we'll let the boiler modulate on its own. So now that I've pressed stop test, you'll see the firing rate going back up to high fire, so we have a high demand on the boiler, and our fan speed is modulating up to get to that high fire percent. So we've adjusted our high and low fire CO2. Uh, again, all of this information is in the manuals that are provided with the boiler or online at Lars.com. If you have any technical questions, please contact the factory. That number is 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.